Lesson 6.4, solve compound inequalities. How do you solve compound inequalities? Well, a compound inequality are two inequalities that are joined by and, or, or. Something that might help you to graph, just remember the little phrase, and, in, or, out. The first part here, write and graph each compound inequality. All real numbers that are greater than negative two and less than three. All real numbers, that's a variable, x. Greater than, the greater than sign, and less than, the less than sign. Now we notice these are separated by the word and. So this is going to be a compound inequality using the word and. So we'll write the first part here. We always put the x in the middle. And then we take the smaller of the two values. Negative 2 is the smaller of the two values. So that goes on the left side. And the, the larger number, 3, goes on the right side. And then we just got to substitute in the proper inequalities. Now when you read this, x is greater than negative 2, but we read this from the inside out. So x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than 3. And the way you read this compound inequality is negative 2 is less than x is less than 3. So we put a dot at both negative 2 and 3, and they're both open circles because they're strictly less than. And then we shade the graph in between and in. So this is an and inequality. We shade in between the two circles. For b, all real numbers that are less than negative 1 or greater than or equal to 4. Again, we have all real numbers, that's a variable, x, less than, greater than, or equal to, and now in this case, these two are separated by the word or. Now when you write an inequality using the word or, you do the first part, x is less than negative 1, or x is greater than or equal to 4. So or means they are two separate inequalities. So now we must graph both of these on the same graph. Now we have to number our number line. So make sure you number the number line so you can fit all your values on there, including negative 1 and 4. Once you number the number line, now plot both the points, negative 1 and 4, on the number line. Negative 1 is an open circle because it's less than. 4 is a closed circle because it's greater than or equal to. X is less than 1. The arrow goes to the left. We shade the left side. X is greater than 4. We shade the right side. So it's an or. We shade outside. For C, all real numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 3 and less than 5. So we label what we have. And now this is an and. So we put the x in the middle, the smaller number, negative 3, on the left side, the larger number, 5, on the right side. And now we substitute in the proper inequality signs. Now when you do the first inequality, just remember you always flip it. So that greater than sign becomes a less than sign. So we have negative 3 is less than or equal to x is less than 5. Now we must number the number line, making sure that we can get negative 3 and 5 on the graph. And then we put dots at both negative 3 and 5. Now the negative 3 is a closed circle because it's less than or equal to. The 5 is an open circle because it's strictly less than. And because this is an and statement, we shade everything in between. Now we have to solve and graph each compound inequality. For the first one, 15 is less than or equal to 3x minus 3 is less than 24. We have a variable x in the middle. Now there's two inequality signs, so it's actually two separate inequalities. And what we will do is we will add 3 to all three sides of this inequality. So we'll get 18 is less than or equal to 3x is less than 27. Now we must divide every single term by 3. So the 3's in the middle cancel out. We're left with x. 18 divided by 3 is 6. 27 divided by 3 is 9. So 6 is less than or equal to x is less than 9. 
Now this is an and inequality because x is in the middle. So we number our number line, put our points at 6 and 9. 6 is a closed circle, 9 is an open circle. And it's an and, so we shade in between. Now we have to solve and graph the following inequality. Now this is an or inequality. So what we'll do is we'll solve each inequality separately. So subtract 6 on both sides. You get 5x is less than or equal to negative 15. Divide by 5, x is less than or equal to negative 3. Or now we solve the other inequality. Add 8 to both sides. 2x is greater than 10. Divide by 2 x is greater than 5. Now we graph both inequalities on the same number line. So we must number the number line, making sure that we can get negative 3 and 5 on the graph. At negative 3, we must put a closed circle. And at 5, we must put an open circle. Now remember, and, in, or out. This is an OR statement, so we're going to graph to the outside. X is less than or equal to negative 3, so we shade to the left. X is greater than 5, we shade to the right. 15 is less than negative 7X, plus 1 is less than 50. So again, our variable is in the middle, so we have to subtract 1 to all three sides of this inequality. So we have 14 is less than negative 7x is less than 49. Now we divide all three sides by negative 7. 14 divided by negative 7 is negative 2. Now remember, when you're dividing by a negative number, you must flip the inequalities. So negative 2 is greater than x is greater than negative 7. Now we must number our number line, making sure that we can fit negative 2 and negative 7 on the number line. We put open circles at negative 2 and at negative 7. And x is in the middle, so we shade in the middle. 